हेलो स्टूडेंट नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म वन सिंपल एंड इंटरेस्टिंग एक्टिविटी रिलेटेड टू लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम फॉर दिस एक्टिविटी वी हैव सम पेबल्स एंड दिस थिंग व्हिच इज इजीली अवेलेबल नाउ लेट्स टेक दिस टू पेबल्स वन इज अ इन रेस्ट पोजीशन एंड वन इज अ इन अ मोशन when this moving pebbles get collide get strike on this rest pebbles let's see what will happen this rest pebbles set in a motion and moving pebbles become stable come in a rest position this indicate that the total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision now arrange this all pebbles seven pebbles like this way take one pebbles from this side and set it in a motion and strike on the rest pebbles when it collide on this rest pebbles let's see what happen only one pebbles get set in a motion of this side total momentum of this pebbles get transfer to these pebbles means total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum of after collision now take these two pebbles and them uh, set them in a motion and collide on this rest pebbles when they strike on rest pebbles again only two pebbles from this side get set in a motion now take this three pebbles and this when we set this three pebbles in a motion and get strike on this rest pebbles we observe only three three pebbles of this sides get set in a motion it means it indicate that total momentum before collision of this three pebbles get transfer to the total momentum of after uh, collision to these three pebbles means total momentum before collision is always equal to total momentum of uh, after collision that now let take this four pebbles and set them in a motion when this four pebbles get collide on three rest pebbles what will happen imagine let's see observe carefully when these four pebbles are set in a motion and collide on three rest pebbles again that four pebbles are remain in a motion and this out of that seven means uh, out of four pebbles three pebbles are come in a rest position this activity indicate that collision of any or any number of object the total momentum before collision is always remain constant remain equal to total momentum after collision again observe this activity the total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision student let observe this a uh, different model this is called newton's cradle by using newton crad cradles we can also explain our law of uh, conservation of momentum we have here a uh, total six bobs this bobs are in a rest positions means initial momentum is zero of all these bobs when we strike one bobs on this uh, this rest remaining balls let's see what observe what happened only one bob can move uh, towards means set in a motion of these sides now when we strike this two bobs only two bobs get set in a motion again 
when we strike three bobs on this uh, raised three bobs only these three bobs are set in a motions when any two object or any number of object get collide on each other we observe by this activity that total momentum of that object before collision is always equal to total momentum after the collision this is called law of conservation of momentum let's see mathematical expression of law of conservation of momentum here we have two object a and b the mass of a is let m1 and mass of b is m2 initial velocity of a is u1 and initial velocity of b object b is a u2 when these two object during the time t these two object get collide on each other after collision their velocity will be change but mass of this object remain same unchanged the velocity after collision velocity of object a will be v1 and velocity of object b is v2 again see initial velocity of a is u1 initial velocity of b is u2 final velocity after collision final velocity of object a will become v1 and object b is become v2 according to newton third law when these two object get collide on each other these both object apply the force action and reaction force on each other let force acting on object a due to b is f1 and the force acting on object b due to a is f2 both magnitude of both forces f1 and f2 are always same equal but their direction is a different opposite direction and therefore we obtain a equation according uh, newton third law uh, motion third equation of motion that f1 is equal to f2 by using a force equation instead of f1 we can write m1 into a1 equal to instead of f2 we just write m2 into a2 because we have force equation f is equal to ma now we know that acceleration is a rate of change of velocity and therefore instead of a1 we can write v1 minus u1 upon t equal to m2 and in place of a2 we can write v2 minus u2 upon t t after elimination of this t both side we obtain m1 into v1 minus u1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2 m1 into v1 minus minus plus m1 into u1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus m2 into u2 and therefore rearranging this equation we get m1 u1 and m2 u2 is equal to now this m1 v1 can shift right side become plus m1 v1 plus m2 v2 now m1 u1 is a initial momentum of object a and m2 u2 is a initial momentum of object b after collision 
m1 v1 is a final momentum of object a after collision and m2 v2 is a final momentum of object b and therefore m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is the total momentum before collision is always equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 means total momentum after collision of object a and b means total momentum after collision thus we obtain the um, conclusion of law of conservation of momentum when any two object collide on each other the total momentum before collision of that object is always equal total momentum after collision of that object thanks student i hope you understood all this concept very well if you like this video please share it like it and subscribe my youtube channel thanks